uh, don't toss the beer bottles or the soda bottles at your house. You can turn them into something that will decorate a table. Uh, we've got Julie Lair here from DIY Louisville to show us how to make our own vases out of just a couple of things. One of them being an old bottle. Then you need a roll of twine. Right. and tacky glue and that's it? That's it. That's okay. all it takes. You know, I love to use recycled materials in my craft, so this is a great way to do that. And basically all we're going to do is we're going to wrap uh, twine around the bottle just to create a pretty decorative piece. And you can also use yarn. This one I have up here, I used yarn on. Any color that you want, match your decor. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to show you how to get started. Um, the first thing I do is I actually kind of glue a little tail down on my bottle and I let it dry a little bit. That just makes it easier to kind of get a good wrap. Pull and it's like yeah, okay. right. And so then um, you, I've used tacky glue. I use this for a lot of craft products, so it's a good product to have. But if you have just a regular white school glue, that works as well. It works, but does this, doesn't, isn't this stuff a little more sticky? It's a little more sticky. It I mean, there are good glues and there are meh yeah, glues. There are, but you, know. you use what you have on okay. hand and, you know, see how it works for you. And, you know, um, it's just a recycled bottle so if okay. it doesn't work you just grab another one and we'll go for it but the first thing you want to do for your first couple of layers is let's see if I can get this glue out here is you do want to make a line of glue all the way around the bottom of the bottle now once you start working your way up you can kind of eliminate going all the way around with your glue okay but for your first couple of rows you do want to use that now I've already got your got started, mine started here. yeah and yeah. so at this point I can be a little less generous with the glue yeah you right? okay. just kind of use it around the front and then um, start wrapping. And Julie, you were telling me that this looks better if you can avoid spaces. Yes. So I was noticing some spaces trying to creep onto this one already as I wrap it around. Mm -hmm. So what is the key to not having, see I've already got gaps. If you're going to wrap fast, you're going to end up with gaps. Yes. So then you say just push on it? Is yeah, kind of scrunch it down as you go. If you find that you've got gaps, it does look a lot better. This bottle that I did here, I kind of did too quickly and I left too many gaps. Okay. And it just doesn't look as nice. And so I usually wrap a couple rows and then I scrunch it down just to kind okay. of fill in those spaces there. And then I noticed on one of the ones that you brought, you added a little bit of color. So you can stop with the, the twine, go back in with another color, and then start up again. Is that how you did it? Um, or did you do that on top? I did this on top, but okay. you could do that. If you were doing a yarn one like this and you didn't want to have the bumpy layer, then you could do that. Use one color of yarn, stop, use another color of yarn. You can create stripes. Use you know, multicolors on that, however that you like to do it. Now, um, another option, when you get to this bump here, you do kind of, it, the string gets a it's little tricky. bit tricky. Yeah. Okay. You can take your string and start from the lip and go down to the bottom. Neat. Yeah. And okay. neat. that's what I did with the yarn when it worked out a little bit better that way. Okay. Or start at the top and go all the way down to the bottom of the yes. bottle. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Or if you get up here and it's getting tricky, just stop, cut your yarn, and restart at the top and work your way back down. Okay. Very good. Well, we've gotten started on our little vase here, and we'll work yep. on finishing it. Uh, Julie always shares her craft projects with us, so we'll have a link on our website, wdrb.com. Just go to the morning section and look for guests, and you'll find a link to this. And in about 30 minutes, Sterling is going to learn how to etch glass with Elizabeth McGee, Crafty McGee. She'll show us how to do that. Thank you, Julie. Thanks for having me.